The Sardeva Ensemble has been going probably for about 10 years as a, as a large group and before that I started myself um, studying music under Sri Chinmoy. Sri Chinmoy is a spiritual gentleman, Indian gentleman and meditation teacher and from a very young age um, I learned music from him and um, he's a great composer, written thousands of songs in Bengali, his native tongue, and but also in English. And so I learned from a very young age um, his approach to music. I studied through him, he was my teacher, um, in the way of learning about soulful music, music that is trying to represent expressions, emotions from a deep place inside us. In 2007, Sri Chinmoy passed away, and actually at that very time, I was asked to play at his memorial service. And I then got a group together, uh, a few instruments, and we played. And from there, the ensemble started to grow. And I invited musicians from all around the world um, who are also interested in this type of music. And we got together, and it was a fantastic tour. It was a big success. I remember in London, my hometown, London, the audience absolutely loved it. It was, they said it was like something they hadn't heard before, a new type of music. And it was almost hard to say what genre it would fit into. It's not jazz particularly, it's not classical. It takes elements of all those types of music, but it's just using those elements to pull something from within, a kind of soulful music that spiritual teachers often would say comes from a very high inner place, a high vibration and it is there to inspire. My name is Chintamani. Uh, this is actually a spiritual name. Uh, it has a meaning. Uh, um, Sri Chinmoy gave it to me and explained the meaning also. It means a jewel of all divine thought. So I'm very fortunate, very glad and grateful that I can have this name and um, it tells me maybe something about my inner qualities uh, which I want to aspire to fulfill and realize one day. I live in Vienna. I come from a classical musical back background um, but maybe I joined Sahadeva's ensemble because I'm already in a spiritual music group uh, and maybe that's how the connection grew that uh, Sahadeva invited me to be part of his ensemble also. classical trained. I, I studied in Vienna in University of Music and after a while I felt like I want more than only classical music and then I found Sri Chimai and, and, with, and we started, I started to meditate and I really found out that there's a deeper source of music and when we play Sri Chinmoy's music it is a different vibration than we play classical music. I love classical music, especially Johann Sebastian Bach, and I combine it also today in the concert. Srechimai's music with Johann Sebastian Bach. In Srechimai's music there is a deep, deep light and peace and love, and if you play it or sing it, this deep peace transports us to the level where he composed these songs. We cannot express this mentally, what it means, 
It's something of deep, deep peace, calmness, poise, satisfaction that we feel. And what especially ex uh, interesting is when we play and meditate, that we realize that there's only one higher force working in and through us. And this is the highest, where we came from. We call it God, we call it Supreme, different names. Actually, when you play an instrument, or if, also if you sing, but especially with an instrument, you have to concentrate, you have to concentrate deep. And if you play music, this concentration becomes very, very deep. And uh, the concentration is like a channel to a higher meditation. And you can really feel how you switch slowly, steadily into a different realm of consciousness where you start meditating. And the meditation is a, um, is a state of consciousness where you feel that you are not the doer. Somebody else plays in and through you. And if you feel this, then even contemplation can start. And I always feel the meditation while I play, always. And this is also my goal, to feel it, to totally devote my, my person, my, my soul, my, my whole life to music, especially when I express switching my music. So playing music is a total meditation. You cannot uh, separate them. For me, being part of Sahadeva is uh, the joy of being part of a big choir to sing with your sisters and brothers next to you to give it your all, you know, like uh, be really enthusiastic and um, dive deep into the meaning of the songs. Always on these tours I feel so happy, I feel grateful, uh, I'm telling myself this is what I, what maybe my soul really wants to do, you know, be with your spiritual brothers and sisters and um, be with like-minded people you know who enjoy music and maybe search for the same things and um, yeah it's uh, really it's great fun but also it um, goes deep and uh, it brings out the best qualities in yourself I think and so for me I'm always very grateful to be part of it. Each individual has a different experience, so you, I can't even say what it is, but each individual will have something that touches them and inspires them to become a better person, a better human being, um, and meditation is all about self-discovery. So the music here is about the process of self-discovery, learning about yourself and learning about the deep spiritual nature that each one of us has. And this music inspires you to keep that search going. I was actually a young boy when I first came over with my parents to New York to see Sri Chinmay, where he was based. And Pramik was one of the musicians there. Um, and I got to see him play with lots of other musicians. And uh, I got to see him play with Carlos Santana and Ravi Shankar. And I just always impressed at his, innate, his capacity to blend with any artist. And I've seen him actually improvise even without knowing the song he's about to play. And to me, I dream of that capacity for myself. I would long, maybe some future incarnation to have that. I've been very fortunate since I started the Saturday Ensemble. I've invited Premik to play, and he kind, kindly enough uh, felt the inspiration to join, and it just raises the level of the whole ensemble. So I'm extremely grateful to him. Yes. <laughs>
The reason a musician as myself joined a project like this because I feel a tremendous oneness with all the members of the ensemble. To me, they are like family, you know, like spiritual brothers and sisters. So it's not so important that one person is on one level, another person is on a different level. Um, we're all together, it's a team. And so because it's a good feeling like family, that's what gives it the ability, the ensemble, the ability to give what I feel is very special performances. All our concerts here so far in the Balkans have been beautifully successful because of everyone being open and receptive to share in those feelings. So it is not just one-way street. We are offering something and they are offering their openness and receptivity so it becomes uh, one big family, the performers and the audience together. This band has been teaching me, in a way, new ways of playing, new ways of approaching the music. So it's been a very beautiful, a very uplifting experience. But um, teaching is something I love to do and I learn from it also. Um, sometimes the students I find are actually very advanced and they ask challenging questions and they push the teacher also. So it becomes back and forth. Bye.